Good evening. Nearly a month after a huge storm on June 29th, which led to massive flooding around the city, like on Broadway and Lomas downtown, many in the community are left wondering why the flooding was so bad in Martinez town, especially since the city had just built a new pump station there. News 13's Natalie Wattis spoke with the city and the water authority about what went wrong that night. She joins us live from Broadway and Marble near Lomas downtown. Natalie. Yeah, Jessica, this pump station is nearly brand new. It was built in 2022, but last month a perfect storm of failures caused the pumps not to kick in, allowing this area to flood. Broadway was a stream of vicious stream up over the sidewalks. I mean, they, they couldn't even get through it. On June 29th, nearly an inch and a half of rain fell in less than an hour. It was the 18th wettest day in recorded Albuquerque history. There was some uh, accumulation of water in this area, some street flooding, and uh, the station was needed in order to uh, carry that water away and, and prevent uh, catastrophic flooding in this neighborhood. That station is the Marble Arno pump station located on Broadway and Marble in Martinez Town. It was installed after years of catastrophic flooding in the area, like this storm in August of 2014. This $17 million pump station, owned by the city and operated by the Water Authority, is supposed to collect that rainwater, up to 6.8 million gallons of it, and pump it into the Rio Grande. But on the night of June 29th, the system failed. The pumps that uh, this station operates on uh, were supposed to kick in uh, under certain uh, circumstances. But they didn't. Morris says the settings on the pumps were wrong. And when the water started to accumulate, an alert was supposed to go to the Water Authority's control center. Station is hooked into our telemetry system and it will send an alarm to our control center if there's a problem. Unfortunately, on the night in question, the, there was a power outage at the control center. Those alerts were lost to the storm. It actually took the mayor of Albuquerque witnessing the flooding firsthand to get emergency authorities out to the station. They were able to get into the station. At about 11.30, they were able to turn the station on. They manually turned the station on. Even so, that was hours after the flooding began. On the night in question, our crews were stretched very thin, dealing with issues uh, all over town that were related to that storm. The important thing to remember is that it, it did ultimately work, and when it, it did, it did its job, did its job great, and uh, prevented anything catastrophic from happening. But some community members are left wondering what this means for the next big storm. I'm not at all confident. I mean, you can look at it. What have they done? They've done nothing. Officials say they want to add more alert systems to this station so that this doesn't happen again. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. The Water Authority will discuss the incident and how to move forward at the next board meeting. On August 21st, the city pays the Water Authority $800,000 a year to operate these pump stations.